young people everything that you hear. Amen. From your little schoolmates or buddies or friends or whoever. Could be your brother or your sister. You can't be repeating everything you say. That's right. Because that relies on the power of your tongue. You can get in trouble about what you're saying out of your mouth. Mm-hmm. Watch what comes out of your mouth. Mm-hmm. You got relatives, cousins or whatever that's custom to do some country. Don't follow suit. Be the hardball. Hmm? Come on. Let them call you names. They don't call you lame or whatever they call you. What what they call you? I don't know what they call you. Come on, square. Okay, be the square. Be a good square. Be lame. Huh? Yeah, be the perfect square. Come on. What else they call you? Green. Green. What? Well, be green. Be dark green. I mean, be 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 green green. Be green green. Be the green lantern if you want to. Huh? Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, well, be the hawk in a good way. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This, 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 this is godly angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the stuff that's trying to come up against you and prevent you from living godly. Yeah. Huh? Come on. All right. Yes. For well, this you know. For this you know. That no homeowner. No homeowner. Mm-hmm. No unclean person. No unclean person. No covetous man. No covetous man who is an idolater. 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 Uh huh. Yes. Have any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ? Ooh. Ooh, don't what? Don't even have an inheritance? Ooh, that's strong. So it, it could it be that folk walking around deceived? Because they're not continuing in the truth and think they got an inheritance? And God is saying, because you have presented your body, you haven't given yourself to me. That you don't even have an inheritance? Not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord. So he doesn't keep him help, but he that what he that doeth, say doeth. He that doeth the will of my father, Jesus said, which is in heaven. Come on, stand up. Amen. Come on, stand up. This is too good teaching, huh? Yeah. Most churches on a Sunday morning, you better hear this. You might not hear this ever. Yeah. So can't just walk in any kind of way you want to walk in and live in the house of the Lord. Yes. If we was in Paul's there, Jesus' day, the apostles, man, a whole lot of folk burned them, whooped them, ran them out of them. Matter of fact, they just going to leave. Right. You know what I'm saying to them? They just preach the word and the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. Now I want to have this nicey, nice church. Mm-hmm. And folks sitting up in the house of God comfortable and know you just came out of the club last night. Yes. Mm-hmm. Know you just slept with somebody's wife and you just had a rendezvous. You you need Jesus. Yes. 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 You need to repent right now yes. and confess not only to the Lord but to your husband and, and your wife too. Yes. And get all the way clean yes. and delivered yes. Yes, and free. Yes. Amen. That's what people need yes. in their life. Yes. Need somebody to deal with them and challenge them. To live godly. Because yes. it's not just so much as the heart, but it affects future generations. You can see that. You can, it affects future generations to come. The way we live and what they see. And you wonder, well, oh man, oh yeah, they have a spit of their daddy. Yeah, look at that, just like it. Why? Because that's what they saw all their life. Right. Hmm? what they saw all their life. So we got to live godly. They say live godly. Yeah. For this you know that no homeowner, no unclean person, no covetous man who is an idolater have any inheritance in the kingdom of God and of Christ. <laughs> all right. All right, Elder Green. Let's move. Let's go to uh, Hebrews chapter 13. We ain't going to get it all, but it's all right. I'm going to give you enough of it. Hebrews chapter 13. Uh-huh. And he got no inheritance. Ooh. That's going to be a sad day. You wake up and hear the Lord say, depart from me. You work up iniquity for I never knew you. Yeah. Wow. Um, give me verse. Oh, Lord, help me. One. <laughs> give me verse. Okay, give me verse one. They won't verse one. Give me verse one. <laughs> Hebrews 13, verse one. <laughs> God is living, yes. Let brotherly love continue. Let brotherly love continue. Isn't that just like the Lord? 
you know, that, that brotherly love continues. You know, sometimes your mom be talking to you so sweet. You know, you know you're in their room. You know mama loves you. Now, you know, you 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 know, you, you just you just a just a blessing. And all of a sudden, and you and you know I'm just gonna have to look you behind it because you know you should have been feeling it this way, and just went contrary. <laughs> And then at the end of it all, you know mama love you. <laughs> I'm going to there and eat you some ice cream. You know, ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, let brotherly love continue. Mm-hmm. Be not forgetful to entertain the strangers. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, yes. But thereby some have entertained angels unaware. Unaware, not knowing the yes. Remember them that are in bond. Yes. As bound with them. Yes. Some people you need to help. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then would suffer adversity. Yes. And being care and being carried yourselves also in the body. Being sympathetic, being compassionate towards others. Yes. Marriage is honorable right. in all. Marriage is honorable in what? In all. In all. Hmm? This is what the word of the Lord says. Because it's God's way, it's God's design, it's God's setup. Come on, that you're honoring the Lord. You're honoring the word of God. To a married covenant that God says, I saw. Yes. I don't care if you go to the courthouse or the White House to get married, or Vegas or wherever you go, you get married in the presence of God. Yes. God heard those words and those vows that you made. And He says, It's honorable. He says, You know, and, and if you honor me, He said, I'm going to honor you. Yes. Because you have decided to live godly and do it right and do it God's way. Yes, marriage is honorable in the bed of the file. But homeowners and adulterers of God will judge. So his focus is on marriage, and then he says, but, <laughs> but, right? <laughs> homeowner, he shifts it mm -hmm. and says, you that don't want to walk and live godly, I got something for you. Mm -hmm. Huh? He says, I'm going to judge you mm -hmm. for your lack of walking and living godly. And doing right by way of your covenant. And dishonoring the wife or the husband of your youth. Now see, I got you. I got I got you on this one. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes the the wrath of man don't work the righteousness of God. That's right. Hmm? Yeah. God say, I got this one. So you go you go ahead and violate my covenant. Or the covenant that you made. Go ahead with your bad stuff. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. See? And it's the mystery, see the mystery, the mystery is when, where, and how. My mind. For the timing. Yeah. That's, that's what gives folks thinking they can tip some more. You know, back in the old, old days, they tap on the window. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when we grew up, they had calls. Yes, sir. And then my uncle see this there. Woo! Woo! That's right. They had signals. Uh, <laughs> Ice up that window. Yes, sir. I'm coming. Yeah. Creep, creep. Just creeping. Uh -huh. Just ungodly. This ain't right. Say it ain't right. Yeah, it ain't right. And some things you know, it, it, it just don't even feel right. It don't even set right in your mind. You know, when you say something that's contrary, it's like, oh, you just feel bad. It just feels so bad. But the reason why you feel bad is because you did something that was wrong. Tell somebody to stop that tipping. Stop you better stop that tipping. Stop that. Because you're going to get found out sooner or later. Then they're going to find you out. Yes. You creep around in somebody's house, Judy or Jody. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And somebody's going to lay you to rest. Yes, sir. Because that's the anger of a man that he violated or wanted violated. That's right. 
Maybe that's a warning for somebody out there. Maybe that's a warning for you. For somebody out there, that you gotta stop slipping around. Yes. The wages of sin is still death, my friend. Yes. All right. Let's finish this. Let your conversation, yes. Let your conversation be mm-hmm. without covetousness. Yes. And be content with such things as you have. Be content, yes. For he has said, I will never leave thee. No, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Yes. Let's go to Galatians chapter 5. Say God and live. See, we need to be not only encouraged and motivated, but challenged. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know how it was when you was in school? At least when we was in school, it wasn't just all nice and nice. Teachers would whip you in school back then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, you're going to do this to real potential. You're going to do these ABCs. You're going to write this out. Yeah, you You wouldn't know if you wanted, you felt like it. You got mad and you out of God in the character now, you mad and upset with the teacher calling your mama, your mama come to the school cussing out the teacher outside of God in the character. I'll lay my religion now. Well, go ahead. With your bad self. Go ahead. Yeah, that's all you got, religion. Go ahead. You can you you rightfully you can lay it down because you ain't got nothing. Well, we got relationship. You got religion, we got relationship, so we just can't lay relationship down. And get outside of God the character. All right. Uh, well, this, I, I want 13. Galatians, everybody there? Galatians 5. Somebody say we're there. Amen. Galatians 5, and yes, this is verse 13. Galatians 5 and 13. For brethren. For brethren, yes. He has been called unto liberty. Yes. Only use not the liberty for an occasion to the flesh. Mm-hmm. Yep. But by love, serve one another. Yep. Just because you're free don't mean you can just live any kind of way. you got to serve others. you got to be a blessing. Thank God they're living. Yeah. Servants of God, yes. For well, all the law is fulfilled in one word. It's fulfilled in one word, yes. Even this. Even this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as, thy, as thyself, yes. But if you bite and devour one another, if you bite and devour one another, take heed that you be not consumed one of another. You careful now? You cannibals? By right, cannibalism going on, you want to oh man, they got chewed on thing. You know, in the world, world time, oh man, boss man's going to chew my backside off. <laughs> and they got chewed up today. Why? Because you did something you had no business doing. See? If you wouldn't have been doing something you had no business doing, you wouldn't have got chewed up. But we don't have any business attacking each other in godly living. We should be a blessing. We should be an encouragement, a help, aid, and an assistance. Yes. This I say, then. This I say. Mm-hmm. Walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. That's a capital S. You walk in the Holy Ghost. You walk in obedience to the Word of God. And the Holy Spirit will bring back to our members all things that the Lord has spoken unto us. He's going to lead us. He's going to teach us. And guide us and show us things to come. Come on. Come on, the Holy Spirit. We have to walk in the Spirit. How you walk in the Spirit? How you walk in the Spirit? How do you walk in the Spirit alone? First of all, it's Christ seeking the hope of glory because the Holy Spirit lives within your spirit. That's the main reason the way why we walk in the Spirit. So we have been baptized in the Holy Ghost. Hmm? But we must yet surrender and submit ourselves to the working of the Holy Spirit in our lives through the Word of God. His prompting. Come on. His directives. Come on. His yearning to allow us to flow and live a life that's pleasing to the Lord. He's our helper. He's our aid. He's our tiller. He's our advocate. He's our go-between. Come on. He's our paraclete. He's there for us to do what Jesus would do if he was here with us. Mm-hmm. The Holy Ghost. Yes. For the flesh lusted against the spirit. Yes. And the spirit against the flesh. Mm-hmm. And these are contrary to one to the other. Enemies at odds and opposition. Yes. So that you cannot do the things that you would. So that you cannot do the things that you would. I mean that you can't. It just means that there's a fight in the belly of the war that ensues. But the spirit man is king. Say, my spirit man is king. My spirit man is king. Yeah, and the Holy Spirit lives in our spirit, so that makes us victorious and conquerors and being able to overcome. 
Yes. But if you be led of the Spirit, if you be led of the Spirit, mm -hmm. you are not under the law. You are not under the law. Now listen, listen. If we are led by the Spirit of God, we won't occupy our lives in the works of the flesh. Lord, our standards. Come on. To become the devil's children. Because whom you yield your members to serve and obey, that becomes your master. Even if it's just for that time, the devil has to see us like Jesus so said, you're of your father the devil, because you go about to kill me. Then they lie. We ain't going about to kill you. You, you, you. What's wrong with you? Liars. That's what happens. That's the deception of the enemy. That's how he works. That's what he does. Okay? Now, uh, read that for your homework assignment. Yeah, the works of the flesh. All right, uh, take me to um, take me to First uh, Peter chapter one, real quick. This is going to, we're going to cover some more of this in Bible study. First Peter chapter one, chapter one. And you know, most people know already know what they're doing. I mean, you're just repeating that telling them. You already, you already know, you know what you're doing. Stop it. And now I go down all that list. And if you know you're supposed to walk in the fruit of the Spirit, that's what you need to be focusing on. That's God the living. Come on. If you're walking in the fruit of the Spirit, that means you're not fulfilling the lust of the flesh. Because your mind is centralized and is concentrated on pleasing God. Come on. Amen. And it's doable because it's a package deal. It comes with the Holy Spirit indwelling us and us renewing our mind in and through the Word of God. All right. All right. First Peter, um, 13. oh Lord, help me here. All right, let's do 13. <laughs> First Peter 13, verse 1 and verse 13, yes. Wherefore, mm -hmm. gird up the loins of your mind. Yes. Be sober, be sober, and hope to the end, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Yes, as obedient children, obedient children. Yes, not fashioning yourself according to the form of lust in your ignorance. Yes, but as He which have called you is holy. Is holy? Yes. So be ye holy in all manner of conversation. In all manner, say all manner, always. At all times. Then whatever you're doing, he says to be ye what? To be holy. Yes. In all manner of conversation, lifestyle, conduct, character. Yes. Because it is written. It is written. Yes. Be ye holy. Be ye holy. For I am holy. For I am holy. We ought to be an express image and mirror of our Lord. That's right. We have his DNA. We are to represent, represent him in the earth. All right, let's go to chapter 2, Hallelujah. Verse 1. Wherefore, laying aside all malice mm -hmm. and all God. Yes. And hypocrisy. And hypocrisy. And envy. And envy. Mm -hmm. And all evil speaking. And all, what? What? All evil speaking. And all evil speaking. Come on, say, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Hmm? I have to tell you what you say. Huh? I mean, I, I've been in the work environment. Uh, 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 I just, you know, just doing anything. And all of a sudden, I said, I, I, I see your husband put on your mouth. What you say? You know, you get quiet. You know how grown people live. They don't want you to tell them what to do. Mm -hmm. Now, when you get too grown, right. when you don't want nobody to tell you to do, you're in trouble. So that's, that's, that's called rebellion. Say rebellion. rebellion. And you don't want to be rebelling against God or rebelling against any authority. All right? Uh, we're going to close right there. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say God delivered. God delivered. Yeah, get your song. Uh, come on, get your song. Huh? Through the word of God. Continue in the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. God delivered. God standard. Somebody say amen. 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 Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Godly living is for every born again child of God, Christian, saint of the most high God. Huh? Got to be held to account in a standard of living.
Amen.